Hey YouTube, Dutch Sense here. It is 9.35 p.m. Central Standard Time on Wednesday, May 18th, 2011. And we are on the road, so I just want to quickly get this one in here. Um, we have a harp ring outbreak. And let's just show you what's going on here. Um, let me name the towns here and then we can expect severe weather in these towns within the next 24 to 48 hours after this current system passes through here. So it looks like uh, the first ring to the south is occurring with an epicenter out of in between um, Jackson and Hardshell, Kentucky. Okay, um, and then north, we've got a ring out of, let's wait for it here, with an epicenter of, in between Wilmington and New Vienna. All right. And let's continue north. That's Ohio, of course. Uh, west, out of Indianapolis directly. And then directly due west of there, out of Springfield. Here, let's wait for the Springfield signature. And out of St. Louis now. And that's out of our St. Charles Next Rad station. And then here's the one that's really a telltale uh, dome or bubble or cone, however you want to look at it. And you can see as it, as it spreads, and that's of course out of Cleveland. So, St. Louis, Springfield, Cleveland, Wilmington, and southeast of Lexington, and I didn't remember the name that time, Beattyville into Jackson and Hardshell. So 24 to 48 hours in those towns that have rings. Now on the East Coast, we're seeing some scalar square activity and some heavy ring. Um, here's the square activity, and that's coming with a center out of Char Charlottesville, in between Charlottesville, let's wait for the, the square to appear here. Actually, it's not Charlottesville, it's Lake Monticello down to Fork Union. Okay. And that goes up to Washington, D.C., but the ring is not coming out of Washington, D.C. The ring is actually coming with an epicenter, most likely down near Salisbury. And let's see, what's another town? Ocean Pines, Seaford. Georgetown, south of Atlantic City, southeast of Atlantic City. Okay, so there we have it, guys. Uh, just pay attention to those towns that we just named. And it looks like Nashville has a ring appearing here now, and same with Kansas City. Let's talk about the severe weather that struck the Midwest yesterday, spawning tornadoes that killed at least one person in Kansas. The Weather Channel's Mike Bettis is in Kansas City, Missouri for us this morning. Mike, good morning. Lester, good morning to you. Yet another active weather day and what's been a string of them so far this spring. 20 tornadoes now reported across Oklahoma and Kansas, the largest tornado outbreak since the large and deadly outbreak in the southeast just three weeks ago. The tornadoes coming fast and furious, multiple tornadoes touching down across Oklahoma and Kansas. And once again, large metro areas were impacted, touching down around Topeka and Kansas City in around St. Joseph as well as tensions run very high here after what has happened so far this spring. But again, when you live in Tornado Alley, it kind of goes with the territory. Having said that, Lester, one thing to keep in mind is the next several days bring just as much action. And today, potentially even larger metro areas could be impacted from Chicago all the way down to Oklahoma City. Mike, you understand we're in the middle of these storms. Tell me what it was like. Well, it was... Uh, it was nerve wracking at times. It was an adrenaline filled day for sure. We're out here on a month long project with the Weather Channel investigating tornadoes. It was a cat and mouse game yesterday with tornadoes as we pursued them. And at one point we we're with our tornado expert, Dr. Greg Forbes. And you could say we're a little closer than we anticipated in Savannah, Missouri. Take a look. 
Dr. Forbes, when you, when you look at the whole storm here, it doesn't have that tight spiral of a funnel that we, we no. typically see, but it seems like this, this entire storm system has wanted to cycle many times over the course of several counties. Yeah, it definitely has the storm scale rotation very, very close to the ground. It's just not contracting into the tornado size that would be a little bit smaller. Oh, there's a funnel. There's up a funnel the, up top there. Up you can see it the very well there. defined up there. Obviously, sometimes you get a little bit closer than you anticipate, uh, Lester, but sometimes the chaser becomes the chasey, and we'll be out there again today. We may bring you more pictures just like we saw yesterday. All right, exciting stuff. Glad everything's fine with you guys. Mike Bettis, thanks very much. It's amazing to see what happened with the weather yesterday compared to what it looked like outside where Mike was right now. It actually looks really nice. Janice Hoff is upstairs with more now on the storms and where they are headed. Janice, good morning. Good morning, Jenna and Lester. Well, you can't let that fool you in terms of how the weather looks right now because most of the action is going to happen later in the day stretching from the Great Lakes all the way into Texas this afternoon the risk of severe storms and possibly tornadoes